Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. I have a project share for you all. I am made something using, of course, this paper pad. <laughs> it's my last project that I will be sharing using this paper pad sugar cookie. I just love this paper pad. I had so much fun creating with it. So I created a mini bookcase, totally inspired. I believe her name is a Pink and Yellow Sequence. I believe it's her name um, that had created this, but um, Craft Purge, Tony, did a tutorial on how to put it together or make it a smaller one. So I followed Craft Purge tutorial. I will put her channel, um, the tutorial link down below in the description box. So um, this is for Lizzie, and she's Lizzie Presents here on YouTube. Hi, Lizzie. Now, uh, by the time you guys see this video, she has already received her package. Um, I received her package a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't, uh, I wasn't finished yet with my, with my swap. So um, I told her that I'm not going to upload her package until um, I finish mine and uh, send out, um, send out my part of the swap. So we both agreed to swap on this mini uh, bookcase. So I love how it came out. I just love it. I, I need to make more. There's so many projects that I want to make, but not enough time. Alrighty. So here is how mine look like. I love it. So um, I used the, um, the one that has the um, wood grain prints. I don't know why I chose that instead, but I guess because I didn't want it too busy because I wanted to add a lot of embellishments in front. But either way, it got covered with the laces. But um, I love this. It came out so cute. Now, um, after creating the box and after I had added everything, I went ahead and added the feet. I felt like it needed feet. So this feet is actually from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. Um, and then what I did, it comes like a bronze color. And I felt like it, it didn't match with it. So I used um, rose gold. Uh, Deco Color Premium Marker, and that you can find that over at Tara's store. Um, it's Urban Gems, so I will link that store, or I will link the Premium Marker down below in the description box. So that's what I use to color the feet to make it all match. So, um, so here I on the on the box I added this trim. Now this trim came in the kit that Rhoda uh, had using the sugar cookie collection so that's what i used i used this trim and then i used this shiny trim right here uh pearl and bling trim and i did it all the way here and i did it all the way here i did not do it in the back because it won't be shown in the back so i want the front to be shown and and look finished and so this is was gifted to me by Sandra. She's Sandra Bose Designs here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. And she also gifted me this trim right here. So beautiful. Fine. I'm so happy I was finally able to use it. And then this rosette is actually comes in the kit. So I went ahead and I embellished it. And I added it here. I added some flowers from the collection. Here is one of the um, vintage girls that comes in the collection as well. It's ephemera pack really cute so okay so here is the little books that i made and i use most of my ephemera take this out okay i use most of my ephemera and this is how i decorated since the background of the paper had the deer and the little presents that's how i decorate the front and i don't know why i just like doing that so i added a little ephemera piece right here and i think no i didn't pop it up but then here's the um, ephemera piece of the deer. Here is a die cut of, of um, from Alina Cuddle that I have shared in my uh, embellishment videos. And then here is a, a poinsettia flower that was um, gifted to me by Debbie Adams. Um, she's Debbie Adams here on YouTube. I will put her channel link down below as well. We did a Christmas swap last year and she gifted me a few of these. And then here... Uh, is a present. I had a scrap of this paper when um, from creating the box, so I fussy cut the present and I added it there. 
and I love it. And I love the binding of it. What I did, I wanted to actually make this look like uh, like books. And you know how in the binding they have the title. So I wanted to frame out the title and I used with gold foil, with a uh, rose gold foil paper that I found at Michael's. I used this die and I love this die. It is called Fanciful Labels from Cuddlebug. I got this off of Amazon. If I find it, I will link it down below. So I used this die right there and it just came out so beautiful and then this is from the ephemera pack i just did some trimming and it says a pink christmas and i added it there and then here um i added a little die cut of snow of uh, snow skates ice skates and then what i really love about the books is here this is a tip that bona had done um a couple of years ago when she was she did a tn the box she made it look like a book pages so i scored every eighth of an inch every eighth of, uh every eighth of an inch there's a score line and then i inked up the um, the box with these three inks i was trying uh so i used pink sugar sponge sugar i used but i don't think it's so light that you really can't see it and I used Victoria Velvet, and then I used the Studio G. Um, I don't know if it has a color. It doesn't have. It doesn't say a color, but I used the Studio G um, ink um, and to ink all the way around the box. So I just love it, and I just tied it off with seam binding. So they all kind of look the same. They all well, they all look the same. So yeah. So I I know a lot of people use beads and stuff, but I wanted to make it look more like um like books so and then um you open it up so all the embellish embellishments that i share inside i've already shared them in a previous video so here um included these little rosettes and then um here's another one and another one so i already shared these in a previous video and i will link it down below and then here i just added a few of these poinsettias as fillers um that's that one and then here's the other book so cute I just love them they came out so adorable I had so much fun creating this so this one um it has a Santa face and then it's got the it has this in the front as well so I use this die cut so it has a Santa face so I went ahead and I used ephemera from the collection and then I use my die cut so I use the peppermint because I felt like I wanted to cover some of this uh, piece right here so I use the pink peppermint I used um, again the holly and for the berries I actually use pearls I use tiny tiny little pink pearls on it and then um, like I said I did the same thing this one says Merry Christmas they're all practically the same just that the cover um, is different and so is the back holding the seam binding is different so here are the stars that I embellishments that I shared the stars itself is from Rhoda from her uh, sugar cookie kit and so I'm gifting her all of them that I've made I've already shared these in a previous video and um, whoop, I got a little blue strings and then um, and then yeah there's some more some more um here's here's another one because i put three okay so yeah this is what i made for her and then here's the fourth one this one it has sugar cookies designed in the background <clears throat> so i added ephemera oh and then also under each ephemera piece there is tool so it's pink tool with pink dots so but a lot of it is covered already so from here like on video you really can't tell unless you're up close so here is an ephemera piece of snowman skating a sugar cookie that i created um and then the holly really cute and then here's the back i use a, a um, how you call this poinsettia okay so then here I have die cuts. So the die cuts that I shared that I may have made, I've included them. So I included the, the girl and the boy, the heart, the stuff, 
the snowflake, the tree, and the three little candy canes. And then here are the rest of the, of the poinsettias that I had um, created. So that's a few die cuts that she can use as embellishments for other projects. So beautiful. And then here is the last one. And this last one is the snowman with the wreath. So I used the wreath. Uh, die cut the snowman die cut and this one says most wonderful time of the year and the little holly again I use the organza and then here says happy holidays this one says the sparkly lights I trimmed off all because it wouldn't fit so I just left sparkly lights and then yeah this one says happy holidays and then the back has um this die cut and then inside I have the little um, wreaths that I made. So I'm sharing these with her. So yeah, so this is my project share. I had so much fun creating this. And then here is how the inside looks. I just love it. They finished in the bottom as well. Really beautiful. I love it. And then also I created a card because I just, I don't know. I When I'm doing swaps, I just love to include a handmade card. So I saw this image um, on one of my scraps, and I just had to use it because it came. it's just such an adorable image. So I was trying to pull a Frank Garcia <laughs> uh, card, okay? So, But, of course, it doesn't look as elaborate as his, but it's simple, but I like it. So here is the card that I made. I so cute i love it this is the image that i saw and this image is in, in the bottom of the 12 by 12 and then and the other two corners on top it's got one of a santa and another one of the skates okay let me see if i can find the paper um let's see here it's a really adorable in 12 by 12 here it is so it's the here's the image so this was my scrap that i had left and i still have this left too and of course you can make cards out of that so i went ahead and um trimmed it a little bit more now the base of it is 110 pound cardstock from michael's and that was a scrap from making these little boxes and what i did is i just folded it in half and trimmed it around to so it's like four and a half by um four and a quarter by four and a half four and three four and three quarters so it's four and three quarters by four and a quarter and then there's two layers on it so um it will, also it's a scrap but it's kind of covered it's got the little wreaths on it and i covered it with two millimeter flat back pearl trim all the way around instead of using um perfect pearls to make the each every dots that he does on his cards I just used uh, Pro Trim. <laughs> so much simpler. Okay, so and then um, I stickled the heck out of um, the snowman, the poinsettias, and the flowers from the collection. The stickles that I like to use, it's called Diamond. And I just like rub on it. You know, I don't use it to give dimension. I just rub on it so it dries pretty fast. And then here um, it says Jolly and Mary. Uh, there's a page that has a lot of these sentiments, different type of sentiments on it. And, of course, it was a scrap, so I just cut it out. And then this little pink banner, white and pink banner was a scrap. And then I used this banner, which is a ribbon. I um, I think it's from Hobby Lobby I don't, or Michael's. I don't remember. And then here is flowers from the collection as well. It just came out so cute. And then um, this is the, the back that I put. And then... I used this design for one of the little banner strips. And then the inside is blank. I just need to put my little notes inside. But yeah, so that's the card that I made using scraps from the collection. Love everything. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.